while studying the nomenclature for organic compounds you must have come across the names like n-butin isopentin or neohexin okay so if you are wondering what are these terms n iso neo we are going to find it out in this video so n iso neo are actually the prefixes used in the common system of nomenclature of organic compounds now when to use n when to use iso and when to use neo basically if we are dealing with the carbon chain which is continuous there is no branching then in that case we have to use the prefix n and just count the number of carbon atoms one two three and four so for four carbon atoms we will be using butane as our parent and we will put a prefix n so the name is going to be n butane okay for this so for continuous chain or straight chain we'll be using the prefix n n is for normal chain or straight chain compounds now let's move to iso iso is the prefix used for compounds who are having a continuous chain of carbons whose second last carbon bears one methyl substitution now this is the only substitution present in the molecule so obviously ch3 uh, ch3 this is going to be an integral part of the compounds where iso prefix will be used so uh, if we have to name this particular compound just count the number of carbons 1 2 3 4 5 so pentane is going to be my parent and i'll be putting iso because of this structure where second last carbon bears one methyl group so i will write iso pentane now similarly when to use neo prefix neo is the term used where there are two methyl substitutions on the second last carbon so here ch3 c ch3 ch3 this is going to be an integral part of molecule and no other substitution or branching will be allowed then only we can use neo so when i say iso only one methyl substitution at second last carbon will be there when i say neo two methyl substitutions on the second last carbon will be the only branching present in that particular organic compound if i have to name this just count the carbons one two three four five six so hexane will be my parent and i'll put neo as the prefix so this is how n iso and neo are the prefixes used in common names now one more thing i want to add if you are using some of these prefixes during your iupac nomenclature which is allowed to an extent then please do not consider th these prefixes while alphabetizing your alkyl groups for example if i am having isopropyl as my alkyl group and uh, there is a say methyl group then while you are alphabetizing your organic compound you should not consider iso for the purpose you will use m and p so who comes first m comes first so although it starts with i and you may be tempted by starting this isopropyl group by writing it first don't do that first write methyl and then isopropyl because these prefixes are not considered while alphabetizing the alkyl groups in iopac nomenclature so i hope the concept of n iso neo is clear keep watching b pharma wise bye